Uh, hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Be some first meet Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Return to Monkey Island, which we are returning to for the third time now. Uh, I... <clears throat> also, I was correct with Commandos. It was the fourth stream. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Pardon, I'll probably be coughing more this time because my throat has been agitated now that I've had dinner. Uh, and let's know. see. <clears throat> this was the last save here. Remember where we were? Uh, let, I, I say we do these each time, just to the fun of it. Kind of. Yeah. Remind me a little? <laughs> okay. I had joined LeChuck's crew in disguise. The magic potion that would have taken us to Monkey Island had been ruined. But Captain Madison and her cronies were nearby in another ship, also bound for the island. I planned to follow them, but the crew were voting against me, and I had to persuade each and every one of them to vote on my side. <laughs> yeah. Oh... Uh... This feeling like should be easy, considering uh, what less shock you might otherwise do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll find a way to skin each and every one of them, even the ghost. Well, oh dear. I was to say, I think someone started with the chef. Oh, good gods. Let's see. Let's just talk first. So, Putra. Chef, Putra. Please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. <clears throat> How come people don't call you Chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. <laughs> but mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. I think Chef is more of restaurants title. <clears throat> like, if you're cooking for a restaurant, then you're a chef. I think. Oh, I haven't thought of that. Uh, let's see. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery <laughs> of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. Or that you deserve to be keelhauled for making <laughs> haggis dumplings. Uh. Her I have been curious to try haggis, but maybe not hers. Definitely. <laughs> so a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so <clears throat> that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Hmm. Now, now that I think about it, it could be more a rank thing, actually, because in restaurants, kitchens, you always have... <clears throat> uh, I think the chef is more the leading cook or something. Do you know, if you think of head chef. Hmm. We might, we might look this stuff up later. <clears throat> Does a chef get paid more than a cook? <laughs> I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this, but LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me deal with that quick. I keep forgetting that whenever we do stream a Steam game. <clears throat> but if I leave it on, then I'm going to miss <laughs> messages. I, I, I would like if stream if Steam had an option to put on a timer with that or something. <clears throat> That'd be useful. Anyways. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... Uh... I was asleep at the time? That is so, so common. At first, I thought it was a hangover. 
<laughs> what was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't a have lot. much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. <laughs> he wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't try stuff like that on other, have other people read stuff like that to see if it's actually any good. <laughs> uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. No, I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. Well, they do have a good point with, well, the rotting parts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, other issues. <laughs> like, like making more zombies. Yeah, and probably uh, their taste buds having died off, so they don't know <laughs> if they're <laughs> cooking something like My tastes like chef. Unbelievable. I know, it's outrageous. No, I mean, he just didn't strike me as a bridge player. <laughs> anyway, oh dear. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. Well, she may be unswayable, but the ship is still swaying with her all along it. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. <laughs> or attempting to cook. Let's see, what is this? makes a compelling case for promotion. No, you're not going to show anything? Okay. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, as it, for zombies, she does have rather clean clothes, which is good. Uh, yeah. Cleanness is important, though I'm still worry about that yaw. Yeah, or lack of. Those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Uh, wait. This. <laughs> you need, you use that to tenderize meat. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I mean, I missed the joke here. Yeah. It's basically a war hammer that can be used for combat and cooking. Well, that is true. Whoa. I'm not sure those are quite dead yet. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It's demon pepper, made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Why would anyone want that? Also, I get the feeling we're going to need this for the demon. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. Th th think about it. They are pirates. Uh, well, there goes the cleanliness. <laughs> right. What if you needed to... Uh, well, tamper with someone's food? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, don't underestimate her. It sounds like screaming, but really quiet. Are you performing cooking or necromancy? D d don't combine those. I already seen yokes of someone resurrecting a ham. You'd but think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. Ew. Uh, right, I was saying, like, not resurrecting a ham of 
reanimating a ham and a chicken and a turkey and all that. Just don't. Yeah. You might want to change this water someday. Just a thought. It's not water. I'm marinating the plate scrapings for tomorrow's dinner. Ew. What? <laughs> Retreat from what? the smell. Uh, that's also that's a thing. Not... Zombies wouldn't smell th uh, if something stinks or not. Uh, but for the pen, that's something also. She, I guess you remember, she is missing a nose. Yeah. Can I give Wait, you a hand it's... washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. Wait, those are cleaned? <laughs> uh. Okay. So, to get her vote, we need to change Rose's vote. So, that's a oh, two for one. How about Flair? Uh, Flair? What do you want? Forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? I'm the second mate, bosun, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I thought they... <laughs> At first I thought they were just shoving everything off on her, but no, she actually wants all of those jobs. Okay, but what are you saving for then? What are you saving up for? None of your business, Swabby. Okay. What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. They're both do. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to need to help her with that. Hmm. Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it, and now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Uh, can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back, right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck Oops. threw Gullet over the <clears throat> side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, that's, uh... That's a mistake entirely of your own making. You could have pulled that thing out any time. No. Hmm. With a whale knife? A whaling knife. Like, I'm... Hmm. Not entirely sure what that would be for. Maybe scraping flesh off bone or something. I'm a wood hmm. of how big it is. Bob, I confess I'm a little confused about what your job is. I mean, I know you hang up there all day, I'm just not sure why. As yard arm hanger, I serve as an example to the crew of what might happen if they break the rules. It's an important role, though admittedly not an exciting one. <laughs> so you are literally an example. <sighs> I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. Uh, I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. Okay. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. <laughs> no thanks. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? <laughs> I'm sure I could come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. I think you just bumbling around is going to cause enough <laughs> entertainment. That looks like a permanent stain. It smells worse than it looks. Okay. That's concerning. So we have to entertain him. We have to get uh, Gullet back on the board somehow. 
And wait, how will we shape Iron Rose? This is a damn good name, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to save her for last, actually. Okay, Flambe. Never. <laughs> What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Underworld jokes, you uh, say? Any good? Hilarious. <laughs> okay, so we need to get that book. <clears throat> yeah. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? No, I don't really have anything else to do. Let's, Let's talk see. about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. <laughs> okay. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Sounds good. Exquisitely painful, yes. Okay. <laughs> How do you make Scorched Alaska? I don't. I have someone else make it. Uh, professionally possible. There are safety concerns. Okay. Keep up the bad work. Always. <laughs> I think it might be a, a reference on to Diablo. It uh, could be. They just, they actually made this... All that we all the same. Alright, I was to say, they just made this devil <laughs> a actual... Someone with the actual Spanish accent. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. Mm. Aren't you curious about what the secret might turn out to be? Not really. No. Most secrets turn out to be either disappointing or disturbing. That's why people cover them up in the first place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sort of right? Yeah. Not all of us, but uh, <laughs> commonly. <laughs> As quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. <laughs> so I've read his age of constant anger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Through a reddish haze of constant anger? I don't know. That's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Okay, so she needs to regain uh, her respect for LeChuck. Hmm. Well, he has had many setbacks. Yeah, <laughs> the demon pirate kind of loses his... Uh, danger once he's been foiled a few dozen times. At first I thought the privy must be behind there, but no, it's just the pantry. Okay. What is all this stuff anyway? Oh, you know, urchin husks, bile duck extract, sugar, fang weed, nothing unusual. Oh dear. Uh I keep worried that her lower jaw will fall off. So, Chef. Uh, let's see. What exactly is a scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam, and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. <laughs> Uh, it, it's less that her jaw is missing, it's more that her mouth has been completely torn off or well, burnt uh, off. I know that. I just don't want it to fall off. Yeah. And that's when we're on. Also, how to make scorched Alaska? Of course I can make scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. 
Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. Okay, so we need I'll to get, get her promoted back. first. Yeah. Also, does she have a hole in her throat? Uh, let's take a quick look. She turns back around. Yeah, it seems like on some angles you can see a hole in her throat. No, it's it's shadowing. Yeah, on this angle, but when she talked to you, it looked like she had a hole. So it might be a hole on the other side. Okay. Uh, let's so, see. If she does have a hole in her throat, um, would that make eating a bit difficult if something yeah. else got damaged in there? Like, if you just did the skin, fine, but... Yeah, mm. if they punctured some of the tubes in there, yeah, then it's a problem. Why do we still have that? Let's see. To-do list. Uh, yeah. I guess we're going to have to dare to enter again. What? This about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. Okay. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grob that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. <laughs> I very much doubt that. <laughs> oh yeah, that was expectable. Do I think it's probably loyalty and discipline and or rules? Fear. Well, that too. <laughs> no, I, I think it's, the fear is more meant for your uh, enemies than your own crew. Uh, yeah, I very much have the feeling that we're going to need to clean everything up. Then we, <laughs> uh, then we get that report to Rose. Can we bring this I'll thing? Leave my work down here. Okay, we cannot. Hmm. Um, did you forget the hole? Uh, I think we're supposed to leave that for now, at least. Uh, we since that's how we can get to the rudder. Then again, we could probably climb over... Yeah, we can climb over here as well. Um, yeah, we're going to need to clean this up then, probably. Then we're get Rose's uh, initials, and then LeChuck probably has to sign it as well. And then we can just swap the papers. I just realized, I forgot to, to drink my water earlier. I had uh, some sandwiches. Okay. Let's bring it over. Yes. And my leg fell asleep. I blame uh, you. Loch Ness is found around the ship. Loch Ness? What? No, Log Messes. Disgraceful. Okay. Do we need to do that for each of these? No. Okay, then we have, well, the big chicken smear. <laughs> Why did that go German for a bit? Smear here. Smear. It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. Okay, we're going to need to find fourth Messes total. <laughs> it would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. <laughs> okay, that works. The Putra won't be happy with us if she learns about that. Oh, hello, Murray. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. I don't blame him. And I've already got I the whole galley in my report. Earlier I said it looked clean and all, but then I got to hear the details, I regret everything. Yeah. Let's see. The entire galley is an unsanitary disaster. Uh, Look, messes. 
I think you earlier said log Nessus. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I said it log mess. That, that, that would be an interesting lake to find. <laughs> log mess. The entire thing is probably polluted to hell and back. See, do we need to fill that thing out entirely or something? <laughs> Toasty. Let's see if Rose will sign it as is. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. Uh, what about the red spots? Yeah, we already did that. Uh, do these count? Yes. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. Uh, let's see. One more. One more. Okay. I'm guessing that will be up with Flambe or something. Yeah. I think I just remember something. Something I don't know if you know. Hmm? In the Middle Ages and maybe this era as well, almost everyone, again, almost, specifically in Middle Ages, People knew how to repair the clothes so well that you couldn't even see it was broken to begin with. There we I've go. I've already added the empty crates to my report. Oh, come on. And yeah, here Guybrush is walking around with a big ass patch on his ass. You only notice that now? Nope. <laughs> now we can't report <laughs> Rose's uh, place here. Let's see. Hmm. Actually, let's go through and see on anything on the side. Actually, was it, didn't the rudder have barnacles or something on it? Oh, oh hello, Gullet. Gullet. You. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. <laughs> okay. That's Flair Goy's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be made out of whale bone. But... I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby. <laughs> well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me. Lechuk gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. <laughs> I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow. <laughs> I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. <laughs> Technically the truth. Oh dear. You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. And it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! Okay, yeah. That would be... It's like he's constantly getting waterboarded. Oh. Uh... If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity, then. <laughs> nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You, baboon! <laughs> I get you for this. Yeah, so how the hell did you get up here? Did you end up here? You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. Hmm, should we actually try to help him or... Actually, let's go... He's already going up anyways. 
Uh, I think we need to report that for... <laughs> for <laughs> the report. Hello again. I'm going to officially report you as a... <laughs> I'm assuming no one will actually read this and come down here to find him. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. <laughs> uh, I'm... Let's read that thing. How did how did he report that? Yeah, I'm curious. I'm so curious. <laughs> Unsightly mess obstructing ship rudder. Uh, uh, it's it's always it's always nice uh, to have a character like that that you can just <laughs> you can just hate on uh, without worry. Uh, Okay, Go those... But could you initial this report, please? Huh. <laughs> yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. <laughs> Why don't you take him the whole stack? Uh, there we go. And you were going to say? Uh, as a, that voice sector of Gullet, if I remember, he, he has... Well... Quite a way with words. Like you, you should have voice and characters with that kind of vocabulary, if I'm right. Yeah. It's hmm. Flare Gory's grandmother's whale knife. Okay, I thought I'd say something else, but I will. Oh yeah, we just stick the promotion in uh, request in there and hand it all over. What? Also, he's <laughs> he's supposed to be sounding threatening there, but uh, it just ha doesn't have the volume to it. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Paperwork. The stress toy. Okay, hand it over. Also, his belt buckle is a sideways skull. All stamped. Now, please give me some peace and quiet. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to shit on the new voice actor, but it would have helped a bit if they made him a little bit louder. I'd say. Yeah, he is good. Just. Does it feel a like shock at the moment? Yeah. Had we another goose pirate? Excellent. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. All right, that's one done. Now to work on flambés. Sir. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. Um, first swab. Well, you're the only swab on the board, so you are still the swabby. So, chef. It... Oh, so they <laughs> it changed her name to actually Chef Putra now. Oh, sweet. And also, who's the swabby on our ship? Mm, probably one of the golems. Unless you want to be the mop. I'm the first mate. <laughs> now that you're a chef, would you make me a scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, not to try to eat it. Because of the demon pepper? Mostly. You've still got a fair amount of your face left. It'd be a shame to melt it off prematurely. It... Did... Did she try it? Could be. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can, but I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska made to order. Be careful with it, and like I said, don't try to eat it. Thanks. What would we use it otherwise for? <laughs> try a bite, let's... It probably would be utterly hilarious, but let's try to save a guy brush from dying. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it looks impressive. But knowing what's in it, no thanks. Yeah. <coughs> we kind of want Guybrush to not be a undead for real. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. Seals me inside like a lost love. A masterpiece. 
I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so uh, let's just say I'll vote you away next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. <laughs> His yeah, voice acting this. sounds Can familiar. I sure, I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Okay. Is that a genuine accent? A, a Spanish accent? Or... Could be. If not, it's a very well done one. And yeah, now that we, now we have uh, <clears throat> the book, we could uh, let's skim it's it. It's Bay's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. Okay, so we're not going to get any of them. Okay, but uh, yeah, it would make sense that uh, demons would uh, like uh, spicy stuff, since well, their internals would be a lot different than normal humans. Uh, very likely. Hey Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. Okay. That's flares, that's bombs, that's flambés. That leaves two more. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith about not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. But how do we get you inspired then? It's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. Perhaps it has something to do with <laughs> Doing I don't have time for that right now. It's all stuff LeChuck has to approve anyway. Wait, wait he hasn't he has approved it already. It's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. What do we need to do with that then? <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, didn't Bob for a moment almost sound like you? I wasn't paying attention it to him, so maybe. <laughs> Waller's love type sounded almost like one of your types. <laughs> okay. And you just did it. Okay, let's see if this will inspire her. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. Nah, thanks, I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're gonna vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. <laughs> I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. Okay, here we go. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Okay. <laughs> Before people are curious, pirates did vote. Yep. One bell, voting hour. The meeting way, is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. <laughs> so then you went to Monkey Island? Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret. Okay, good point, yeah. But yeah, following a different ship would make sense. Especially since well, they, uh, they have to do the potion, but you can just follow them and try to map the actual place of the stupid place. Uh, yeah, of the stupid place. No, not yet. I, I need something sweet. I, I'm not gonna eat any candy or such until end of february except on my birthday okay let's see Oop. send me send murray uh, to captain madison okay okay i think we know how uh, hello again right, murray uh, something. Uh, all right i need to see this 
Okay, Marie, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are dangerous. <laughs> Byrono! I'm going to get my hands on the Chuck's map first. Oh. Ah, come on. Okay, how are we going right. to distract him then? I don't know where my couple them. Can't you see me be <laughs> thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I'm back. What do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. Hmm, what is that veil? Hmm, how do we how do we distract him? And yeah, he has a stress toy on the desk. What do you want, Swabby? Hmm. Why exactly are you trying to find the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island has tormented many a pirate. Some believe it doesn't exist, that it's just a myth or a joke concocted by a fool. None has been more obsessed over it than that idiot Guybrush. Me? I think it holds a mystical power to be harnessed for evil. And as an added bonus, it will drive Threepweed over the edge of madness. Threepwood. Wood. With two O's. What was your name again? Uh, Swabby. With two B's. <laughs> Almost got yourself caught there, <laughs> dumbass. Hmm. I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? Uh, the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a follower. Now get out of here so I can think! Hmm. Okay. I recognize the voice actor. Uh, again, he is a good voice actor, just... Not yet, yet LeChuck. Hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. He's not doing a bad job, but he has a very high bar to uh, compare to. Hmm. Yeah. Let's. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. Yeah, <laughs> pretty small anchor. <laughs> that, that thing wouldn't stop this thing. Even. It wouldn't even slow it down. Uh. What was that? That just. Jumped or fell? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> really, fish, fish bones. Fishes. You, you did notice them before on nope. the last stream of this. Hey, Gullet. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. How did he even get in there? Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. Oh, we know what we're doing. We're going to turn the rudder. It might actually squeeze him free eventually. Uh, yeah, I really don't have a clue as to how to get... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, don't, I don't have a clue as to how to get the map. Yeah, and also... Uh, okay in there, Marie? <laughs> did not mean to click that. I'm going to shoot both your legs off and use your traitorous fingers to take my feet. Okay then, just checking. <laughs> that, that, that's the, that's the second person who tried to eat his legs. <laughs> I think he and Gullet would get along if they'd ever meet. <laughs> With just the, the effects of that, like he, he sounds like he's stuck in a tin can. But he's stuck <sighs> in a can as so. were. You can actually hear him. Okay. 
No, you didn't. You, get, you didn't pet the kitty, but you did poop the kitty. So what's this portrait worth painting doing there? E double crabs hey. like limbs, apparently. Okay. <laughs> what Kurt Rose doing there? Hmm. Okay, let's go check up on him. See if that did anything other than piss him off. But I think we might have to use the uh, hint book to figure out how to get the map. We need to get him... We probably need to get him out of there. Or maybe something to do with the paperwork. Hey, Gullet. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. Uh. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's see. Can, is there anything at all to interact with? We can still look at that there, but we can't. Do we need to open that? Open. Okay, it doesn't open at all. Hmm. Okay, then. So, everything's more or less ready to go? As soon as Madison's ship gets underway, we'll follow it. I myself wasn't quite ready yet, because I still needed to steal LeChuck's map. Oh, yeah! Okay. Hmm. How... Let's see... It's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. Hmm. Yeah. Let's need a... Let's take a bit of a hint here. Let's see. Some uh, way to distract LeChuck, yeah. Oh, the bell? That time again already? Well, let's get to it. Back uh, straight, you shifty, feckless parasites! Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. But he is telling the story, so... It's not much of a map. <laughs> There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It just it's not it. much of a map. Really? There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. What is it? I can't decide which is more disturbing. Oh, Chuck yeah, that... Somehow stealing Elaine's wedding veil, or him having a copy made. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Okay. It's not that... much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. Do we hide it? Uh, this isn't remotely like a map. He'd notice it right away. Okay, but you said that it's not even remotely like a map. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, uh, so that's why we have that. A map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. Okay. Also, how the hell did Wally even know where to make a map to? <laughs> shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All right. Same time tomorrow, then. Dismissed. Uh, again, he he has to. He just doesn't sound loud enough, if you ask me. Maybe a bit of a all the yeah audio balancing thing or something. As it is. I just keep doing the whole, you know, loud sound effect with the olive ring shaking. I just skip that, it would be fine. But because they yeah. added it, oh, well. it just feels off. Uh, maybe in the next game, if there ever is a next game. Not even going to question it. She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. <laughs> okay. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. 
Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <laughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Hey. Oh, right. <laughs> guy brush. Dumbass. Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I, I can. I like the voice actor, just. I said this. I they remove. Again, if they had removed the loud shaking effect of his loud voice. I think like it will be easy to accept it as a new uh, <clears throat> uh, a new uh, I forgot his name. Le Chuck. Le Chuck! Thank you. you but like yeah, I feel like hippopotamus. Oh you blood like hate that one. Huh? Uh, uh, okay. Decent comeback. Why don't you try again? But yeah, I feel like they did the, the voice like they've been disserviced with the loud sound effect, the shaking. You're all flavor and no saber. Well, your flavor is uh, flavorless. Blast. <laughs> hey! Cheating. Hey, cheating! I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? <laughs> Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really should keep up on the latest trends. Goodbye, <laughs> Freakwood. <laughs> 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 Okay, that was a nice comeback on the insult sword fighting. And here we are, finally back to this blasted island. <clears throat> Six minute walk, really. Good thing I can still hold my breath for ten minutes. More or less. Is it more, or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for ten minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time, I heard you say twelve. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do ten minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes? <laughs> no. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, two minutes later, what? <laughs> also, it wouldn't be easier to just swim, Guybrush? <clears throat> Uh, okay, what's a giant statue hand doing there? Uh, there we go. <laughs> At last! Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes, tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. And why do I get the feeling that the map is gone? No, it's actually not. Okay, red berry bush, stone monkey hand, wooden chicken, bees, and X marks the spots. Okay. Hmm. Is there a little hermit crab that we can't interact with? If if Kybers were to ever interact with a hermit crab, it'd probably end up homeless. <laughs> okay, I can guess who made this. Aw, it's a heart with L and E, someone romantically carved into the tree. Uh, yeah, that's Chuck's work. Also, don't carve in issues into trees. 
Mary? Wait, what? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. <laughs> really? I, I, I hope Murray is okay. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Okay, here we are on this blasted place again. What the heck? Look at and his it's... icon. Yeah, it's just a little paper cut out. <laughs> That's a creepy smile. Let's see. Let's check out this shipwreck here. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. <laughs> oh, so what is that moving there? Is it just... Hmm. The rocks around oh, here shit. are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. I think they can do a lot better than that, <laughs> Guybrush. Yeah, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies Wait. to the unlucky captain. Did... Madison and them crash? Could be. Let's see. It says the sea monkey. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Wow. The sea monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Either that or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. Uh, uh, I see a meme. I saw a meme with a crab bear. <laughs> Crab brave. Yep. Oh, I'd love to get the old girl <clears throat> running again. It'd be a great summer project. Probably um, more like a year project or a couple of years. I, I don't think you can fix that if it has been in the water for so long in that manner. Yeah, you'd have a better job just rebuilding the entire thing. No, he was, he's better be building a new ship. Let's see, Volcano Beach. <coughs> Not a little hermit crab. Okay, that plant moved somewhat. Or is that just the breeze or something? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, yeah. it's just a weird looking skull. I'll keep this for no reason. <laughs> Are they teasing us? Uh, wait, what? Uh, uh, I thought... I thought it was just look at the ship, not return to it. Also, there are sharks here, it seems. And I don't think we can um, walk to this thing with... Oh, low... Oh, okay, that works. I would not be surprised... I, I forgot to say this. That I would be surprised if that anchor is magical and it looks... Dark <laughs> magic. Is that you? I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. Oh, it's just a soaked skull. I'll keep this for my Skull Club meetup. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. <laughs> okay. Let's see, are we going what? to get tossed off immediately? That's a big shark. And that's also um, big. Big barracuda. Let's see, we can slip back in through here. Is there anyone else in there? So many fond, greasy memories. Uh, let's see if someone is still here. Oh, actually you are. Drowning down with just me thoughts. <laughs> Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. Don't wait. Oh, only joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. <laughs> How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job. Breaking in a new swab. Oh, that's not bad. Lob. Fob. Gob. Oh, gob. Gob could work. Anyway. Let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. And here I am. A lot friendlier now. The new swab you mentioned. What was he like? Rising star? Diamond in the rough? A useless plank. I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. Also, 
He come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell about people. <laughs> okay. Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. <laughs> okay. Not much in self-reflection. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with him still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, I am stuck in a few places. In more ways than one? What rhymes with worms? Germs. Oh, yeah, that could work. All right, then. I also need an idea for something that grows. Uh, <laughs> resentment, really? Roses. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? A snack. Right, uh, of course. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. You got a whole damn volume, okay. Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? I suppose that'd be alright, seeing as how you contributed in a small way. Let's uh, keep it between us for now, though. Don't go showing these around. I wouldn't dream of it. I won't. We won't. Don't need to dream of it because we're totally going to do it. Dear God, so mean. Okay, can they we steal the shot? Okay, smart on them. And I, I think we're going to get tossed overboard immediately when we do this. But still. You. Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. <laughs> Expected. <laughs> All right. So... Ah, I guess not. <laughs> no, that <laughs> that crowd could arm wrestle you, and you'd lose your arm, guy brush. I think you just uh, clip off the arm without wrestling. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. Yeah, you walked up. <laughs> Let's see. That is gazeworthy. Wait, is that water? Uh, yeah, it looks. It looks like the volcano filled in. With water. Uh, well, I guess if it rains enough. You don't hear much about land pirates, but they're out there. I think those are called raiders. <clears throat> oh dear. It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about you, what part I might find just, next. Just you wait with me till we when we start watching uh, this enchantment, Hillian. <clears throat> Let's see. Monkey hands, wooden chicken, bees. Uh, there's the wooden chicken. Well, I would have carved a pulley in the middle, but that's just me. Another reference to the first Monkey Island. It's running a little fast. Really? That's <laughs> how can a sun help run fast? Uh, oh, bees, birds, and no oh, toucan. Blo bloody heck! I got some like for housing. I don't like the bee sound effect. I actually start to twitch and look around almost. Uh, I wait, do like what? honey, but I don't want to escalate the situation. Um, yeah, so what's with this sign? This way. It's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. Who wrote it? Even a shovel? Okay, this is so a trap for something. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Also, uh... It's totally one of those snares. The secret of Monkey Island must be buried here. Question is, who set up the trap? Whoa. 
Okay, come on out. Well, hey, wait, wait. That's not Lechuck. Uh, jeez, they didn't try. Uh, look, it was the sea monkey, not their ship. <laughs> oh, the trap is for Lechuck. That explains the root beer. This clown won't know Lechuck's secrets, but I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait. Yep, you know who I am, dumbasses. What was that you said about Lechuck's secrets? Do you know Lechuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? Uh. How about the first two notes of his theme song? Not enough. Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part really? of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. That sounds like a dumb spell. <laughs> so the map has a captor lock on it, which is those uh, you are not a robot thing. Holy crap. You could just ask him? Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. Maybe you shouldn't have loaded it with everything you had. <laughs> really, Skybrush? We could search his ship for information while he's gone? We thought of that, but the ship's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Former crew member. Technically. I'm not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer and I won't make it again. In or out. Okay, at least she's to the point. <laughs> what are the alternatives? We kill you. <laughs> True. I accept. <laughs> no way! Uh, you teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey ahead if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Guy, <laughs> just yeah, just lower it. You're not going to ask a thing. No. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure more... LeChuck would have figured this trap out. Also, apparently, one of them can't spell. Yeah. Let's see. How much time do we have? All right, we did start 50 minutes later, so we still have uh, plenty of time. More. Let's see. 50 minutes according to the timer. Oh, hello. Wait, what? Fifteen? Hmm? Yeah, fifty. Oh, oh. Are you, is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh, it's just a sea salt encrusted skull. I'll keep this in case I ever take up <laughs> skull juggling. Also, how is oh, it encrusted with sea salt if it's all here? <laughs> Seals? Yeah, let's not ask question too much about that. But yeah, this is a nice view. Oh yeah. Astonishing. Magnificent. <laughs> it's also the title screen, so of course they're going to Breathing. blow their own horn. Wow. Astonishing. Okay, nothing up here else? I do wonder what we need the skulls for. Hmm. So where are the cannibals? They had a village here. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. 
Did they board this thing up or something or is... Hello? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Hey, partner. It's a... Someone has a nice collection of colored glass bottles. Threepwood! <laughs> I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. <laughs> Hello, Mary. How, how did you get unpressed? <laughs> uh, what is Good question? I wonder if this arm bone has anything to do with anything. How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. But I'll have my revenge on all of them. Especially that withered zombie man on LeChuck's crew. <laughs> uh, yeah, he doesn't know that it was Streetwood. <laughs> yeah, uh, wait, listen. Hmm? They're, they're whispering over here. Are you getting a cut of the secret too? They've promised me your skeleton. Minus the head, of course. How is it that you're not flat anymore? What the? How did you know about that? Who've you been talking to? I've got my eye on you, Threepwood. Uh, so to speak. <laughs> uh, I, I, I hope they make more Monkey Island games, in part because I just want to hear more Murray. I uh. hope so too. Uh, is it I can hope to keep to be stuck on a pointy steak. I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I was say, if they continue making more Monkey Islands, I hope they keep to one art style this time. A hey. bit of consistency. Yeah, it's kind of the fun of it that you know, a lot of there's just so much difference between them all. Yeah, but you still always at least some way recognize the characters. Hmm. Most of them, at least. Let's see. Do we need to bring? You know, do we need to give Murray a bunch of friends or something? Um, I think we need to replace all, uh, put all the scores there and replace Murray, so no one expects a thing. Really? Uh, ouch! Hey! Oh. <laughs> it's oh. the play of the theme song. I go. The <laughs> Demon Dorothy. Go. Let's see. I don't think we need to put them on as dip in a specific order because I, if I recall correctly, it's Do, uh, Ray. Uh, Wait, Ilya, don't take this as a. She uh, said Do, Do two times. Do, Do. Yeah, they we might need have. To figure out the they, rest. Yeah, they might have extended it Bye, further. Hello. Partner. Oh, Elaine loves daisies. I'll take these for Elaine. Probably going to need those for something else. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, let's try and sneak on again. Probably get uh, tossed uh, off again. The, the cannibals, self-proclaimed cannibals, and we're not cannibals possibly anymore. Move to another island? Creepwood, not so sneaky without your magic disguise, are you? Uh, yeah, they have moved eventually. Hmm. Okay. How are we going to get past her? Oh, that was good. I was wondering, was that a magic stone? Just, no, there's just... Whatever those are called. Uh, anemones? Or something like that? Yeah. Why does that can have three or four X's? They've sealed it shut. Yeah, maybe to note the size or how many kills it has gotten or something. Let's see. Wow, these are really bad poems. 
I see why Gullet was keeping them secret. Okay. Could be a humorous, or maybe the Elna. It's hard to tell without some deep forensic analysis. <coughs> what a delightful spray of daisies. I guess Helios allows you to daisies. Hmm. Okay, got any more info? I'm back. Yeah. Have you uh, finished reading my poems yet? They're just so fascinating. I'd like to spend more time with them. Oh, uh, of, of course. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. Okay. I'm guessing his catchphrase is just three words shouted at the top of his lungs. Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. Do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does the screaming of his enemies count? I doubt it. Then no. Enjoy your evening. Are you leaving? Without, without helping me, when I get out of here, I'm gonna eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. And we have no reason to return his poems now, <laughs> if he's going to get it, get like that already. Tempting, but the climb would be beyond even my legendary skills. You're legendarily bad. Okay, uh, can we pry this open, maybe? I can already tell I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay. Hmm. Then there's only one way to get up. But she's going to push us off the moment we get uh, there. See anything new here? That theme song, Crash Fairy's favorite food. You find a way back on. Hmm. hmm. Let's take a bit of a hint. Okay, ask the rest of them. Hmm. Okay, that speeds up now. Nice, nice little quality of you know, life bits like that are really appreciated. But yeah, they they lived on the other side of the island, I think. But they did eventually move over to that other uh, volcano island. Hey, partner. Bye, partner. Let's see. One. It gave Talk an to option them. to. I think it's. I think there was just a second option there. Maybe to listen in or something. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news. We get to kill him after all. No, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Oh, I already found a secret thing from one of the crew. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Like chomping worms or colorful germs. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. <laughs> it's dribble. It's perfect. Are we going to get disguised as Gullet? Qui doloram ipsum, qui dolor sitamet. Nisi uta li qui vexia comedo consequat. Exceptor sin doge cat, quidetat non proident. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. Okay. I think you should have something here. Hmm? These three are Captain Hillian wannabes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Like chomping worms or colorful germs, ideas fill my head. The poems flow as roses grow, creatively undead. <laughs> More like creatively dead. That's enough for now. 
I don't want to waste all the magic power. My soul is black. I've had a snack. The stench is growing worse. I miss the me I used to be before the zombies curse. Well, it's not that bad. Yeah. If, if we'd known what they would, you know, what the lines were like before, we probably could have made it a better. Uh, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> this can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. <laughs> oh, no, Toby is going to go right back and kick his ass across the island. Yeah. And again, and I wanna... <laughs> LeChuck, you had three board on board. You know he would steal that thing. Yeah. And also, has that happened that a volcano gets so full of water like that? Yeah, the, the <clears throat> volcanoes aren't always filled with, well, they are always filled with lava, but the top layer eventually uh, can harden and such, and it can go dormant. And yeah, then it can just be filled in with rain. Unless it has Bloody a drain. Blood hair has been a lot of rain for it to not evaporate. It was been able to get up so much. Yeah. Three wood. Not so sneaky without your magic disguise, are you? <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> uh, just seeing if she had an extra line or something. Okay. Like chomping worms or colorful germs. Okay, they sped it up. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Am I that obvious? Note to self, practice people skills. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I finally finished the piece I was working on, and I want to block out ten minutes for celebrating on a beach where none of you can find me. <clears throat> it's me, Gullet. Why would you trust me with that? Because you know if you screw it up, I'll stab you again. It's, yeah, I won't feel it again. Then again, uh, guy press woods. Hey, Hello. Gullet. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Uh, uh, you you have no nose. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. <laughs> Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does, seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. Good point. <clears throat> does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea, but he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. Okay. Hope we know what to see. <clears throat> Anyone around here? Nope. Also... Alien. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Ooh. There's the theme. <clears throat> Go, lad, you tough old slab of crocodile meat. Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? I'll have whatever LeChuck's having. LeChuck's on the island looking for the big secret. Let's... You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't okay. blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, uh, a classic. What's that thing that Chuck always says? It's sort of his catchphrase. You're a terrible cook, Putra. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking more of something he'd use in all kinds of situations. Then I've got no idea. I'm still thinking it's just screaming its current nemesis's name. Yeah. 
Do you happen to know LeChuck's theme song? I don't know. Flair's the composer. I think she's on deck duty right now. No. I mean, yes. Uh, sure she is. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? I can and I would, but I'm all out of daisies. Okay, good thing we got some already. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with these? Nice. They look organic. Have it for you in a jiff. Ain't they all organic? Uh, where are they? How would you make inorganic daisies? Bon appetit. That's it? Sometimes really? simple is best. <laughs> it really? even comes you... with a takeout box. You really asked that? You really? I'd rather not, honestly. Helian, how you never seen a fake flower? <laughs> uh, not one you could eat. <laughs> well, you technically could working. eat them, but you mm -hmm. shouldn't eat them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. Yeah, that, that's the action. <laughs> a jaunty little tune like this would be great it at parties. It's. I think it's currently doing a bit of a remix of LeChuck's theme, actually. Oh, dear. Okay, that's two down, Wait. one more to go. Oh. <laughs> it's LeChuck's personal Me? diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. That's so Are ours now. Are we hearing his theme song? Yeah, I think it's a... It's a, I think it's an adaptation of it, but it's not the exact one. We've had it the first, we have heard it a few times through the, out the games, of course. <clears throat> Let's see. Does the flambe, does flambe know anything? Uh, nope. I wouldn't want to wake him up. It's... Hey, I can see all the way to the giant monkey head. Madison, Lila, and Trent are all talking. They look happy. Planning what to do when they're finished with me, no doubt. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Ha! <laughs> okay. Hmm. How do we get his current catchphrase then? Or are we just going to have to guess at who he's be he'll be shouting about? Actually, let's check the hold. We haven't looked in there. A ship's hold, alright. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. They boarded it shut. Yeah, they could have shut it off completely. Uh, and they oh, took yes. our mob. They could have just cleaned it otherwise. Okay, nothing more here, I think. So yeah, I think we're just going to have to take a, a shot at who what his his catchphrase is, though. <laughs> Probably just him cursing revenge on, yeah, <laughs> anyone really. Okay, we've got two or three, and three could be a good guess. Hey, partner. Okay, let's actually read this. Let's see, I'm really enjoying this new diary that Cutthroat Kelly got me. I'm impressed they would bestow this gift on me, given I was the one that cut their throat. <laughs> I'm going to write in it every day. Uh, June 5th, it's the 5th of June. Time flies when you're having fun. Sailing, pillaging, terrorizing, etc. <laughs> really, he threw, a doodle of, he threw a doodle of himself. July 9, crazy times today. Uh, uh, crew had a what is your most embarrassing guy brush story game of charades around a big pot. Really? August 1st, just crossed the 19th parallel on our way to terrorize Mer Bermuda. We ran into a pesky customs ship. Used to outrun and lob voodoo cons at. <laughs> August 3, bundled up and went uh, up on the deck to do some more, t yeah, to do some more star charts. Got a good look at the grog mug. Okay. November 30th, arrived at Skull Bay and dropped anchor. Jutra is going to make mac and cheese for dinner. If I didn't know better, I'd say she was underperforming on purpose. Yep. Yep, really a, <laughs> a chicken with Guybrush's face laying an egg. Uh, December 4th. Uh... Attacked and scuttled a mail ship today. Good fun. The sea was covered with tatters of good, 
<laughs> a holiday gift wrapping and it looked like an exploded clown. Uh, brought back some fun memories, but I seem to have forgotten the name of the clown. Note to self, do more memory exercises. Oh, that's the... What is... That looks familiar. Hmm. Yeah, it looks familiar. Uh, it's not the ultimate man. insult thing. But... No, oh, no, 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 it's a face, I think. Uh, nose, horns... Uh, I think those hmm. are hair. I, I, I can't really tell what it is, but it resembles a face, and yeah, hello, hangman. Uh, December 12th. Tried out a new catchphrase. Shiver the quivering bilges. <laughs> this is much better than my last one. Okay. Uh, the new mainsail looks too nice. I'm uh, sending a deckhand up to rip uh, shred it so it's more of an evil feel. <laughs> uh, new crew keeps asking why I hate Guybrush Streetboard so much. I can't point to one thing with Guybrush. It's an endless list of little annoying things with him. The Guybrush keeps popping into my life when I least expect it. I rue the day when I first went up against him years ago after he ruined the wedding to my true love, Elaine. I uh, decided to get myself a new catchphrase for Christmas, Plunder the Quivering Timbers. Okay. <laughs> ho ho ho. <clears throat> uh, forgot to mention crew threw me a birthday party the uh, day after we got to Skull Bay. I killed all them all. Yes, Keel needed cleaning anyway. Uh, thinking more about why I hate Guybrush. He seems to think we're Nemesis. Uh, Nemesis? Yeah. Mortal enemies locked in a forever combat. Truth is, I could care less about it. It's like the mosquito thinking we're nemeses, uh, when the mosquito is just an annoying insect to be squashed. An annoying insect that has swarted your plans multiple times already, guy. <laughs> Chuck. Yeah. Mm. Iron Rose called my catchphrase tired this morning. Last her to the bow spirit and have decided to give <laughs> uh, buy my bristling beard a try. <laughs> uh. Had a long conversation with Rose as we ro roasted s'mores over burning bodies on the beach of Terror Island. I love that place. Her point of view is that the more I dismiss Guybrush as a simple irritant, the more it's obvious that he and I are truly nemeses. Uh, making a list of all the reasons I hate Guybrush Threepwood. Stupid name, who names the kid Guybrush? <laughs> Thinks he's a mighty pirate when he's neither. Uh, always trying to hunt for the same treasure I am. Stole a lane from me. He gets much better press than I do. Only interested in the glamour of piracy, I walk the walk, he just talks. My ship is a lot better than his. <laughs> also, you have a ship. Oh, Elaine, all these long years, I still yearn for the warmth of your embrace. Damn Guybrush, the day will come and the end of thee is foretold. Idea for another catchphrase, brandish the seven cutlasses. Not, uh, not sure about this one yet, we'll have to sleep on it before I put it into action. Seagulls circling the ship today. Normally giant rats with wings would be my sort of thing, but they tried to steal my <laughs> morning kippers and are whitewashing the deck to the point that where none of us can keep our footing. Thinking of conjuring a permanent storm to keep the blast of things at bay. Oh uh, dear. The ship is a mess. I'm instituting a new required swabby report. Tested out new punishment techniques this afternoon. Whaling hooks were highly effective. We'll need to replace a few crew members. Only remembered afterwards Rose's comment recommendation not to uh, use the ship's surgeon as one of the test subjects. We'll schedule her for an extra few lastings for letting me forget. <laughs> uh, it is LeChuck. Uh, was, was he playing tic-tac-toe with himself and lost somehow? Uh... He's, he's played a few times, it seems. And... Wait, is that a tear stain or something? Anyways. Uh, let's see. I've decided to give up terrorizing the seas. When we go and we get the port, I'm going to look into some charity work, dig up my plunder and pay restitution to my victims. Top of my list is apologizing to Guybrush and giving him a big hug. Okay, how drunk were you, Glachuk? What? April 1st. Uh oh. <laughs> Decided to revise my catchphrase to Three Boards Bane. Short and sweet. I like it. Also, another stain. And what is that supposed to be? Comets? 
Only with new catchphrase hearing Trinkwood's name too often. I'm going <laughs> back to the one I had on the 17th. Okay. Uh, seven cutlasses. Uh, map to the secret arrived today. Security measures do not seem to be working. Uh, but now that it's you know, here on the ship, <laughs> it can't possibly fall, it can't possibly fall into the wrong hands anyway. I should have had Wally use my personal cipher, but he wanted to bind it tighter to me. Uh, we'll have a word with that sniveling little map maker about it once the secret is recovered. Uh, Yancy and Matt Flora mentioned Guybrush at dinner. We'll need to hire replacements. Maybe at Melee. Already stopping there for voodoo supplies. Uh, made port at Melee. Townfolk surprisingly unfazed by the presence of the ship. Missed the old days. Note to self. Destroy a few buildings with cannon fire on the next visit. <laughs> Just came up with a doozy of an insult, <laughs> back, back myself up, and sent Guybrush to his death. There will be celebration this eve. Note to self, send my condolences to Elaine. <laughs> okay, so now we have all three that we need. <clears throat> okay. Uh, first, though, let's check that. Let's see. Okay, do, do, mi, sol, fa, fa, re. Okay. There. Go, go. Uh, mi sol fa fa re mi sol fa fa re. Uh, and two fa fa. Yeah. Oh Murphy. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Okay, map is out in the open. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say the Chuck's catchphrase. Uh, not there. Rindish. The seven cutlasses. Quis atem bel veleptate velit. Now, eat Lechuk's favorite food. Do I have to? Yes. Oof. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on. Look, there are lines on it. It's working. What's going on? Still there? <laughs> Hello, who did? Uh, wait, why is it felt all the way over there? Oh, that's that queen or something? Wow, this dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? Uh, you did. You do know that someone ran off with the map, didn't you? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, that's Obi Wan's line from Star Wars. They're, they're gonna keep doing that. Let's of course. <laughs> skip some some yokes on some of the other games. Probably. <laughs> we probably miss them. But let's try the old classic. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. You can't fool us. There aren't any monkeys here. This is Monkey Island. Uh, there are monkeys here. This is Mon. <laughs> this is Monkey Island. Kick. Three hundred. And now good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Yep. Wait, I have a family. <laughs> good. You also... <laughs> Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd, it was just in my pocket. Never mind. 
I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. Ow. It came from oh. over here somewhere. What the? Reapwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? What? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> okay, they're probably moving to the other side of the island then, and uh... I think Say, my pancreas he... is broken. Possibly also my spleen and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Oh. Is someone here? Wait, uh, oh Elaine? Gosh. Oh no! Are you okay? What are you doing here, or are you in hallucination? What? Depends on your definition of okay. Let's start with likely to survive the next two minutes. Oh, uh, I suppose I can manage that if I have to. Also, oh, both of his legs are broken backwards. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. On a I... stump! Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. Nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Hmm. Uh, if you want. Well, don't act too excited now. What difference does it make? Well, it makes a difference to me, if nothing else. Come on, let's go. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say map? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello, Murray. Oh. <laughs> Murray, is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. He's on snaps Holy all of his cow. broken limbs. The secret is at oh. the voodoo shop on Melee Island. Okay. <laughs> Going back to melee. We are. Wait. Well, what about all the things you just said? <laughs> I must have hit my head. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your Wait, old what? ship. I mean, the sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know. I saw it. I got dropped uh, off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? What? Dibs on the good hammer. Race you to the ship. <laughs> okay, that, now I'm unsure or not if this is actually him hallucinating or not. I feel like we're entering a new phase in our relationship. I am trying to contain my joy. <laughs> Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. It probably was. <laughs> Dear God. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump, maybe. Wait, not the pocket. 
<laughs> How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. Yeah, uh, no new lines. Oh, so what were those X's? Um, it probably meant... Actually, yeah, X, an X on a tree means that it's uh, meant to be cut down. Slowpoke, you had a head start. <laughs> okay, these two are cute together. Should we get started? Ready when you are. Yeah, I kind of like it when they are they like this. That, that's what... Pleasant and cute, like... It ain't too much, just right amount to be a bit sweet, but a bit comical. <laughs> also, I just realized I've forgotten the voodoo lady's name. I think it was uh, Chorizo or something like that. A Cho and a Za, or an A ending name at least. Yeah, it starts with a C and ends with an A. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written okay. just for me. People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? Okay, um, is, we're going to be stuck here for a year. Normally, when people repair ships, they are not in this condition. Yeah. Well, as, long as, the, as long as the spine is okay, I guess. <laughs> really? We did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. <laughs> they, they have... <sighs> things get complicated. Don't tell me. Buy keys? It's losing parts as it goes. <laughs> Uh, of course, and there's a. And why is the steering is. wheel in the front? Who would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now? Oh my goodness! Look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I want to hear all about it later. <laughs> but yeah. See you soon. Uh, uh <laughs> really? <laughs> Murray? Murray is the forget. <laughs> uh, out loud. Chat with my invincible demonic figurehead. Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal it. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers <laughs> on melee. <laughs> okay, he has a point there. <laughs> and again, Stan is here. <laughs> Dear, yeah. So what the hell happened here? Did you feel the earthquake? I was too oh. busy running for my life. Oh, so the spell actually did cause a, an earthquake. Yeah, and take the cookbook. Someone yeah. wants it you back. Saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing. The building was on fire. People running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Is a Excellent question. I can think of a hundred other things I'd rather have saved. My favorite 12-inch knife, my collection of rare spices, a painting of my father, a mop that I painstakingly crafted with my own hands, my cat. But in a crisis, you don't think. There isn't time. You just act. And by acting, you expose your inner self. Heroism and villainy are revealed in moments like these. Me? I saved the cookbook. You're welcome. Well, Carla will be happy. Yeah, you were saying about, uh... <clears throat> you were saying about a reference? It's a cookbook! A cookbook! It's an old one that has not been done yet, but it was done a lot in the 80s and 90s and a little bit in the 20s, then it suddenly died out. Okay. But it's, it's but, but that's a... singed. Carla might not even notice. Right, as I've tried to explain... Are you yeah. I'd like it back. I don't imagine I'll have much use for it now. 
<laughs> okay, go on. As I was saying, it's a one of those jokes where the Vanessa disaster, everyone panics, then someone runs up to you and scream, It's a cookbook! It's a cookbook! I try to give it to you. <laughs> okay, that is an old reference, yeah. Yeah, you recognize it now. Uh, actually, no, but I, I, I know I've never seen it, so that tells that it is an old one. It has happened even on Dexter's lab and all that, but yeah, I think it's a joke that died out since it was oh, kind of random and nobody, I don't think even anyone knew what he was referencing anymore. Yeah. It's... How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. <laughs> okay. But really, the secret of Monkey Island has been here the entire way, halfway to me. Wait. Uh, they're taking the long route. I get the feeling they're going to be... I get the feeling they are going to arrive the moment we get the secret. The secret will be ours. I've been searching for the secret since before you were born. That's exactly my point. Finding the secret is a young pirate's game. of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine. Only if you don't have a heart attack first. Ha! Last chance to give it up. Then we obliterate you. Get off my ocean! <laughs> Get off my lawn. Dear God. I, th <laughs> that yoke is still going alive. Go chicken? Right, did he I'm lose? impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and we join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Something great for you to do. face the lane scurvy flyer. <laughs> oh, everything free now. Free's even better than half off. Half way better. <laughs> uh, going, oh, wait, wait. Look, going out of business is out of business now. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the doing fine? Okay. My pressing business is across the street at the voodoo shop. I feel the secret is within my grasp. Why do we get the feeling that uh, the voodoo lady is the secret? Am I too late? Or her caller? Chuck here. Did Madison come? Did they get it? Great. Where's the secret? Five keys. Yeah, I'll bet the secret of Monkey Island is in there. It just has to be. Oh, you're still here. You've had it all this time. I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? <laughs> it's in that big safe by the door, right? Yes. Okay. A straight answer? Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Ah. Uh, no. But there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did you keep the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it, and belongs to someone else. 
I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Okay, it, it, it is in a way pretty clever to, well, move the secret of Monkey Island off Monkey Island. Yeah. Also, is the oh. owner of this safe the same one as uh, the one we will meet outside? Who owns the safe? Alas, there are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract signed in blood with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. Okay, I was going to say what? a voodoo NDA. Dear oh, gods. <laughs> How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. Yeah, they slowed each other down quite a lot. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, but I make no promises. <laughs> Dear. Uh, yeah, the place has been cleaned out. Let's see then. Ah! You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Which is a bad thing, proud actually, because so that'll start a fire. And it's why he bones. On. Wait, hold on. The look, the vo Is that a voice actress for Sid's mother from Ice Age? Uh, maybe. Uh. Did everybody already know about this but me? Not at all. Precious few have the smarts and the patience to decipher the clues and find the secret. I am Wideling Bones. Widey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. <laughs> <laughs> How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys. Hit it long ago. Okay. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secrets always been in the safe. Uh huh. The, 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 the safe was just moved. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Okay. What do the golden <laughs> keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> no, actually, let's be honest. You have, if I had a, a actual golden key, it would be worthless as a key. Yeah, it would break. A uh, model bend. <coughs> and also, <that's> yeah. <laughs> also, how did? Oh, now I. <laughs> Wally knew where the secret was because he works right fucking across the street from where it is. <laughs> uh. How come I never God. heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. Except for the one who sold a map about it. Yeah. No, no, I hate that voice actress. I don't know if that is the one uh, voice acting Sid's mother or not. This all seems <laughs> endlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. 
Best just enjoy the ride. Can I borrow the key you have just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you got more keys than I do, yep. and maybe I talk partnership. Okay, we've hit the two hours, but let's continue this conversation at the very least. You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. <laughs> see you around, I like your... I've got keys to track. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. <laughs> there is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big <laughs> exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Bridge would send us right here. Also, what the hell happened with the streets? Of course, earthquake. Bleh. Me dumb. No, no, Coda Knight. If any clock were the exception to that rule, it would be this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this game is just lovely. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, but sadly, we'll have to leave it there. And, yeah, go look for someone to raid. I get the feeling we are only, like, halfway through the game, because I'm pretty sure getting all of to all of those places is going to take a bit. Yeah. Th this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Okay. Open up the browser. I feel like uh, Leshok's new voice is growing with me, just... Again, I think I said this several times now. Whenever the screen shake to affect his shouting, he's doing him a disservice. Yeah. If they had just skip that, he would be a easier getting into the role of, of a new uh <laughs> Yeah, Le Shock. Okay, let's see. There's a lot more people online now that it's actually somewhere around noon or two uh, PM in America and such. So let's see. Let's skip the big names. And actually, let's start from the bottom for once. We have the Digital Hazard, who is streaming Yokai Watch, which I heard is a good little game. Uh, I think it had a, a lot, not maybe a lot, but it had some sequels, one or two or something. I, uh, I knew it as an uh, anime first okay. that I didn't watch. Uh, I don't know which came first, the game or the anime, but let's see. No idea. We have Derpy Doo who is streaming Valheim. Uh, Halloween 4545 with Total Warhammer 3. Touch Scaly Tail is playing Plate Up. I would be interested in playing that game, but I'd need some people to actually play with, which would probably make it a lot more fun than a lot more yeah. frustrating. <laughs> yeah. I, I love watching it, but good gods, you could not make me play it. Well, I think that game actually would make me panic. In a bad way. Yeah, and then we have Smoop's Other Nonsense, who is streaming Space Other Charlie. Okay. And before we cut it off, we have Rococo Buffet, who is streaming The Simpsons game. That was like a dish. <laughs> hmm, don't, I don't remember who they are. Let me take a quick peek. Hmm. I think we've read it on before. Likely, otherwise, uh, hmm. let's see. Among the recommended, we have Mega G Wolf, who is streaming Dragon Ball the Breakers. Uh, we have Ren Rabbit, who is crafting stuff, apparently. And let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I heard that game is pretty shit, so let's skip that one. TB Sliver, I think we've seen them pop up here before. They are streaming Ghost Recon Breakpoints, which I hear has a better uh, 
to put it simply, when originally that game launched, people did not like it at all, but they did release an update at one point that added a new mode that is a lot more enjoyable and plays a lot more like uh, the, the, the game before it, Wildlands. <coughs> But yeah, any of these sound interesting to raid? Hmm. Either Plate Up or Valheim. Yeah, I was thinking Valheim. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, they're currently raiding a dungeon. Uh, yeah. Let's go give them a raid, see how they're doing. And uh, yeah, we'll see when next time we can stream this ourselves. So here we go. Copy the name, slash raid, and paste. And there we go. Okay, but before we start off, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome <laughs> as always, my friend. Yeah, I see, I see in the chatty program that someone has been joining and leaving a few times that's typically a sign of a bot so i'll be investigating that sorry if you are not a bot just a precautioning because i don't want my uh, viewer count inflated uh, artificially even though it's typically only one or two per people anyways but yeah better than 15 bots watching at once <clears throat> and uh yeah let's start that raid to derpy do and yeah thank you all again for watching uh, tomorrow we should be able to do one stream, not a second one in the evening, so just an afternoon stream. Uh, we can do more commandos, probably may... Actually, yeah, we, we're following our schedule, not really a schedule, but our pattern. Uh, yeah, it'll uh, probably be commandos, if not something else. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> one less cough. Uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Uh, watch out for flying crocodiles and free-headed monkeys. <coughs> One more.